Airline profits set to gain some altitude this year, with carriers expecting a net profit of nearly $11 billion. That's up 40% from last year. So why isn't the boost in business good news for flyers? Mark Murphy is a travel expert and the CEO of Travel Alliance Media. Great to see you, Mark. Thanks, Allie. So their profits are up. Sure. Billions of dollars. Yep. Up 40%. Mm -hmm. Why aren't they passing that along to passengers? Well, because they lost $10 billion in the, in the downturn. So it's very difficult. The profit margins for airlines are about 2.6% right now, which is about half the profit margin that it was just a few years ago. So they're getting squeezed. And what they're doing is they're kind of squeezing us a little bit when they get the opportunity to do that. Now, we like guys making profits. We sure. want them to be successful. But the point is, if they're hosing the flyers, uh, we don't hosing, want that. Uh, I don't know about hosing, but it, it if, they're trying like to squeeze, if they're trying to squeeze the customer and well, hide fees, that's the thing. What can we do about that? All right, so here, here's the challenge. On the Internet, everything's transparent. So they want to put out the lowest possible airfare, so when you sort from lowest to highest, you show up first if you're U.S. Air. The challenge with that is in that pressure to show the lowest fare, they back, -end, back ended a lot of fees. So they charge you for special seat selection, for meals on board, for literally everything under the sun. Right, so you're going Baggage. to London. And you right. think you're going to pay 1200 bucks, but after baggage meals, you're right. up to 1400 bucks. Potentially, sure, absolutely. Okay, so let's talk about the tips for how we can trick them since they're trying to trick <laughs> All us. All right, so first, first tip is realize if you're going to London, 60% of the airline tickets, in some cases 70%, are booked by traditional travel agents, which most people forget. And many of those uh, airline tickets can be booked through a package, through a tour operator. And what tour operators do is they negotiate with the airline, they negotiate with the hotel, car rental, they package it together, they pass the savings on to you. Where do you find those packages? Well, many of them are wholesale, so they're only available through traditional travel agents. Oh. Your local American Express or an affiliated shop with any number of different organizations, AAA for example. So that's my best tip. Book with a travel agent, get a package, and that package deal will pass the savings on to you. Now, is there a good time to fly, a bad time yeah. to fly? And I know there's some good carriers, some bad carriers. Right. What would you recommend? Okay, a lot of times with the carriers, it's come down to just get there at the cheapest possible price because people view it as a commodity. So in terms of timing, go shoulder season. Go now if you're going to Europe. Skip the summer if you want to keep your budget in check. Travel in September and October. Anytime you're traveling outside that mainstream, great time to travel to the Caribbean right after the start of the year because people go for Christmas break and then the resorts clear out, right? Go to a place like Mexico because people see all the negative news on Mexico. 20 million Americans went to Mexico and you get a great deal today going to Mexico. Mexico is a great place to yeah. go, by the way. Great food and fun. Uh, Mark Murphy, thanks so much. This is great. You're thanks, with Travel Allies Media. We appreciate all the tips. Thank you. Sure.